Hello everyone and welcome to episode 99 of ASA, the series where I answer your questions. Before I get into today's questions, I have a little announcement that might be a little sad, but I really think it's for the best. Next episode of ASA is obviously 100 and I'm going to end ASA at 100. I think that's a good number to stop. I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. I know that's a little bit of sad news because a lot of people really like ASA and believe me, I love making ASA. ASA has been a fantastic and fun series to make for all these years. It's just in real life, I'm very busy sometimes and sometimes I actually just don't want to make ASA videos, which is kind of sad. Like as a YouTuber, I know I'm not like one of like the super fancy popular like YouTubers, but as a YouTuber, you never want to burn yourself out. You never want to get to the point where it's like, I don't want to make videos. Otherwise, that's just bad. And so I think that ending ASA at episode 100 is a good idea. But yeah, if you have any questions for the last episode of ASA, leave them down below in the comments and if you guys want to go ham on the questions I'll answer every single question no matter what it is no matter how many I get I'm making a commitment right here I will answer every question so like I highly doubt I would but if I get like a hundred questions I'll answer all 100 questions but now let's get into the questions for today's episode starting with CT Bricks and he says ASA do you think Lego would make a commander wolf and if they do what set would you like to see him in and then a bunch of potatoes Thank you for the potatoes. So I do think they will make a Commander Wolf someday because they made the Cody and the Rex and the Fox based on the Lego Star Wars game. So someday I do believe that we will see Commander Wolf. In fact, I'm pretty sure Commander Wolf is supposed to be in the Bad Batch Season 3. So realistically, I feel like if we were to get a Commander Fox minifigure, what better set to put him in than in a Bad Batch set, right? That would be awesome to see. So if I had to pick, like if we were going to get a commander wolf i think it'd be cool to see him in a bad batch season three set will that happen i don't know could it happen possibly Next question is from Plurpus ASA. Do you have a water buffalo? Sadly, I do not have a water buffalo. I should honestly write a nasty letter saying, where's my water buffalo? Boo up. Good old Veggie Tales, right? That's a Veggie Tales reference right there, and I love it. Next question is from TG Collects, and he says, ASA, what's your thoughts on the new Rex leaks? So I'm not going to show the actual leaks because I could possibly get in trouble. I'm probably would be fine, but I'm just not going to. From what I can tell and from what other people have said, the Rex looks exactly like the one from the Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga game. I honestly don't think that this minifigure is an abomination and just absolutely horrible and disgusting and goo goo ga ga wah wah wah. You know, like, I don't think it looks too horrible. It's definitely not amazing. We could have had better. The helmet holes are definitely ugly, although the side for the rangefinder looks good, so I'm like, there's that. One thing I do think is kind of funny looking is like that ammo packet or whatever it is on his chest is like ridiculously large. I do think that looks a little silly. I still think it's a cool looking minifigure. It's not like amazing, but it's not horrible. So I would give it like maybe a seven out of 10. Next question is from or six. I'm probably not saying that name right. So I do apologize. So maybe let me know how to pronounce it if I said it wrong. Anyways, he says, ASA, what's your opinion on Battle Royale games, especially Fortnite? I don't know why it gets so much hate. I actually think it's pretty fun sometimes and then a bunch of potatoes thank you for the potatoes my guy honestly I've never been a huge fan of battle royale games I'm not really into any kind of battle royale game I've never liked the idea of like a game where basically you got to get lucky from the start or at least the middle or else you're screwed like I don't like games like that I just I never have and I never will I've never even touched or played Fortnite so I can't necessarily say oh I hate Fortnite but I don't like it and I've never touched it so yeah next Next question is from EK Starlord and he says, which sequel trilogy would you prefer? George Lucas sequel trilogy or Disney's sequel trilogy? And then a bunch of potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes. To be completely honest with you, I don't even know what George Lucas would have done with the sequels and really anything would probably be better than what Disney made. So... And I... I'm all the Jedi. Oh, that's... Stupid! Really stupid. 
You dare agree with me? Next question is also from EK Starlord and he says, have you seen Marvel Studios Secret Invasion? If so, what did you think of it? And then some more potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes. So I won't spoil anything. I'm not going to like go into too much detail about like each and every episode or anything just to avoid spoilers for people that haven't seen it. Plus, if I start talking about it for like ever, this video would be like an hour long. But I wasn't a huge fan. I definitely did not hate it, but I feel like the show started off pretty good and then gradually just got like less and less interesting maybe even a little boring the villain started off kind of cool and then towards the end was just like meh the story was just kind of meh the heroes were kind of meh the only thing that i thought was like really good was the acting obviously the actors did a fantastic job but the story was just lame the villain was lame everything was lame and there was only six episodes so it was like incredibly rushed so i didn't like that i just i wasn't a huge fan i definitely don't think the show sucked like some people say but it wasn't amazing so I would only give it like a 6 out of 10. And our last question is also from EK Starlord and he says, what did you think of the new trailer for the boys spin-off show Gen V? And then even more potatoes. Thank you for spoiling me with all those beautiful potatoes. So Gen V actually looks really cool because, well, it comes from the same series as the boys and we all know the boys is amazing, right? And so Gen V looks really cool. It's a, It looks a little disgusting because I think the character can control blood. So I'm like, that's kind of creepy and gross because she like shoots blood from her hands but I'm like that's gonna be kind of interesting there's a lot of familiar faces in the trailer and they mention things like the seven and stuff so I'm like that's pretty cool just some like little easter eggs but I'm like I'm really excited for Gen V just because it's in the same universe as the boys and so I'm like more spin-off shows for the boys would be awesome so I'm like Gen V looks awesome but yeah that's all the questions for today's episode so like I said remember to ask a question or however many you want for the next and last episode of ASA thank you all very much for watching make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed i appreciate each and every one of you taking the time to ask questions leave a like and watch you're all just super awesome and amazing thank you for all your support have a wonderful day and i will see you guys next time goodbye